But we start tonight at 9 in North Liberty, where police unions unanimously vote no confidence in Police Chief Diane Venega. She's been with the department for 25 years, named chief in 2013. A press release today from the unions says they took this vote on Sunday, but they have complaints that go all the way back to 2017. Iowa News Now reporter Cedric Bolton III is live in studio with more details on what's happening there in North Liberty. Yeah, Mitch, both unions listing more than a dozen grievances for the vote against Venanga, including skipping mandatory training to save on overtime, not being able to hire or retain staff, bad communication, playing favorites, and passing around blame for mistakes. A problem they argue can only be solved with new leadership. They have like four people right now that are looking at uh, changing employers, going to a different city to be police officers. In November 2017, Chief Venega vowed to bring positive changes after a survey outlined department members' grievances. Now, more than six years later, North Liberty Sergeant's Association Rep Sam Christensen says not much has changed. Highlighting one officer trying to call out for the day was told to come in because he had a wife at home who could take care of his sick child. He went to work on that Friday night. The next day, his wife was sick, the baby was sick, and uh, he called in again for a sick day and... Uh, they made him get uh, have his wife get a sick note from a doctor. Christensen says they sent their no confidence vote to the mayor, city manager and council members on March 24, but say they were met with continued sarcasm and hostility in response. City officials claim the document the unions provided offers no explanation. And before the 24th, no leadership concerns have been brought to the attention of Chief Venega, the city administrator or the mayor. Now, the city is conducting an internal review to look into the claims. And both the mayor and city administrators say they're still confident in Chief Venega's leadership. But union leaders say they either want the police chief to resign or the city to fire her. The officers and the sergeants want the citizens to know that they don't want to abandon them. They want to stay there. They just need somebody else to lead the, the department. They love the city. Uh, they want new leadership. We do have the full list of grievances on our website right now. And you can check it out on iowasnewsnow.com. In studio, Cedric Bolter III reporting.